That was weird. There we go. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a stream today uh, that's going to be just relaxing. Uh, we're going to be making the human dog and the alien dog for critical annihilation. They're one of the main uh, enemies that you'll be running into, so I, f like, I figured I have to make it at one point. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'd rather get it done now. I actually have a pretty decent idea of what I want to do. For the alien dog, I want to like do it pretty much the same as a regular dog, but with like distorted shoulders, like really twisted looking. Um, as if it was um, um, biologically en engineered. And then for the human dog, I essentially want to make a, um, a Labrador. Uh, like the ones that you have, you see, the regular police dogs you see, and I want to get them all equipped with like gear and everything, and have them nice, nice and, and like nice and built. So that way, it, when you're when you like send out your attack dogs, when you have like an, a dog to help you out, you really do feel like he's actually gonna help. It's not like the, and they're not gonna die in two shots. They'll actually die in like a relatively high amount of shots. It'll take obviously one rocket to kill it, but still, rockets are gonna be a disparity. They're gonna be quite scarce. Last thing I wanted to do was to just play the game with rocket launchers. Hey, Nightmare, welcome to the stream. How are you? Welcome, welcome. So anyways, uh, let's get to doing this. Is the, the stream loading for you? It's not loading for me. I don't know. It suddenly like it, it kind of like just cr stopped a second ago, and now I, and now it just is like I relaunched it. But yeah. Hey, Lord, what's up? How are you? And by the way, Lord, just another FYI, can you please stop persist uh, persisting on 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 Skype? It's really it's really annoying. I don't treat streaming like a job, so I don't set schedules. I don't I don't. I don't use I don't use streaming to to gain money or revenue or anything. So I'm not gonna I'm, I kind of do it like haphazardly where I just if I feel like it if I'm in the mood I'll do it. So I've been good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, busy. Got tons of contract works. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I uh, got some extended ones and renewal ones. So people are happy with the work I've been doing, which I'm glad. So uh, so yeah, it's exciting. It'd be cool if hey one day I can stream full time and it'll actually like you know get me something, but I don't I don't expect that and it's not kind of it's not the outcome I want. It's weird. I timed my ponytail very well today, but it's like dangling in the back and it's kind of grazing the back of my head, so I, it keeps on making me think twice. Anyways, uh, let's make this dog. I just want to skip this song. What I want to listen to is you. Let me know if you guys can hear the music. I want it to be fairly balanced. All right, decent money, you guys watching? Nice, nice. All right, so let's do this dog. Uh, first off, I'm gonna grab like just a Labrador. Not a Labrador. Um, German Shepherd. I think it's German Shepherd. Yes, yes, German Shepherd. Okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's the shape of a German Shepherd. Okay, that's pretty good. It's a good, good basis. Uh, let's start off with the paws. I'm gonna do something tiny. Oh, I might actually import the deer so I can get a nice sense of scale. So let's import the deer that I made. Oops. Uh, you are in forest. Perfect. I'm gonna start off with the legs, of course. Uh, the dog is gonna be shorter than the deer, that's for sure. Depth, let's give you a depth of five. She might have to be a little bit deeper than that, seven maybe. Height, width, I can adjust that. I first wanna get the figure on his feet. Perfect. So like his paw is gonna be that. This 
background music sounds like something my friend would listen to. I like it. Good. Good. I'm glad. Hey, Reality Shifter. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. I hope to see you here a lot more often. Hope you enjoy the stream. Okay. So let's see. I guess what I wanted to do is take you like that. That's a little bit too much. There we go. That's perfect. I think I decided it's good for the first part of the leg. I'm going to do the, the top calf here. It's going to be slightly big, but it's going to be good. Then I'll be able to duplicate that on the other side. Skype. Start. Okay, I was just checking. Finally, the stream is responding on my end, so that's good. I might want to link that. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. No, I'm not sure I really want to link the paw of the dog with this cap and stuff. Okay, yeah, let's reduce that. Now that I got that part set, I can kind of use that in the back too. So what I have to do though, is extend it. Actually, I have to, make sure I have to shorten you. No, that's the same. Yeah, that's definitely the same. Ought to be adjusted is you. For the front. Yeah, perfect. I feel like overall this needs to be short. Let's see. I do that. Maybe that's more dog height. Because a dog is not as big as a deer, so this needs to definitely be a little shorter. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do his calf, and I think this is gonna dictate the overall size of the dog. So I do his calf, and I do it something like starting here. Go like that. Mm hmm. How about a Black Ops 3 reveal? Oh, I didn't even see it. How was the reveal of it? Everyone was kind of aware that it was happening. 
Wasn't much of a secret. Yeah, it's a little tall. Actually, mind you, that gets to the top of the, the dog, so as long as I dict it, nah, as I figure this is the top, then it should be fine. The front end is gonna be a little bit trickier. Special was a live action trailer to real one is on Sunday. Oh, no, yeah. They've done that before. No surprise there. Alright, I'm gonna fuse you. I'm gonna keep on fusing it because I still feel like there's something wrong with it. Like it's not it's too sh uh, too tall right now. Even if I do. Actually, that, might, that actually looks better. A little fat right now, but it's definitely it's definitely much better than before. That makes sense. Perfect. The reason I'm making it symmetrical is because it's going to be the same on both sides, so I can easily just duplicate it. Alright, now you also need to be like there. Let's go like this. itself. I might want to reduce the front end here. Something like that. Mm, not quite. Keep in mind, I need to. I'm going to be using this model on uh, this well, this design on the alien dog as well. So, yeah, that's better. This I could actually drop down like that, which works perfect. Yeah, the dog can always be scaled down, so as long as I have the body, then, uh, I have that, then that's a good start. So now we can actually do the body itself. It's running like that, actually. I'm gonna. As long as I can start with something. Roughly 12, roughly 24. So I can do uh, the front and the chest at least. With, and it doesn't matter too much right now. Right now I just want to get the shape. Alright, first off, this curves in real quick.
I think that's good. You need to be reduced, like that. Sounds like an alien right now, trying to communicate with people. Kind of eerie, kind of eerie. Okay, the front here is way too slanted. I think that's the that's the issue right now, and it's also wait, uh, it's also too low. For it to be like that, I think it actually might work better. Just for the front, the back paw is meant to be a little bit different, so that's fine. That actually helps a lot because then I can drop this by one, and it works with the back. Sir, this music is a type of uh, good luck charm for me. I've been playing the same game for a few hours. Finally got the new high score of 43. The game is called Don't Touch the Spikes, and it's very addicting. Oh, yeah, I know that game. I've, I've, heard, of it, I've heard of it before. Well, I'm glad the music helps. Coloring this is going to make a huge difference. Alright, let's do the coloring. Um, starting off with... It's like an orangish brown. Like that. Into the lighter tints.
to increase that height because there's not there's not enough uh, height on the body here and that leg needs to be separated because right now I need to design the back uh, the rear of the body rear and height Does the dog look a little narrow to you? He's a little narrow. His his front end is still a little too too thin. The back end it seems fine. Like that that seems like the right size for his rear uh, for his uh, like mid midsection. But this definitely needs to be bigger. There we go. Much better. One is like that gap of two is really sufficient. Now I can actually differentiate this. No, 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 Critical Annihilation is not affiliated with uh, Planetary Annihilation. That'd be cool, but no, it's far from it.
going to start to come along nicely. You guys start seeing it? I, I think I can start seeing it. The legs, again, still don't feel quite right. It, it definitely has to do with the fact that this is so arched back. This needs to be like that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. I'll leave, leave for now. Okay, sounds good. Probably be back later. See ya. See ya. Have a good evening. Uh, get, actually, have a good night.
Yeah, yeah the years are gonna come right around there. If you're to make a game similar to a movie in concept such as uh, Hunger Games, for example, well, having players obtain weapons and fight in arenas, uh, should I get permission of the owner before I should, um, or should that matter? It depends. It depends on how much you want to take from it. If you want to take the entire premise from it, and including the story, if you want to just take like the, the gameplay element of it, of, uh, of pitting people together in an arena, you can kind of get away with that because there's already a bunch of fighter games and all that stuff, so that's fine. But if you really want to take the entire concept of fighting an arena for survival for your faction and like pitting uh, like pitting against each other in that sense, like if it's everything regarding it, then yeah, you, you would have to get the permission first uh, to make sure. I say go ahead and make it regardless. And uh, if they don't like the permission, then just make it free. Don't charge for the game. It's always a, it's always a, like an interesting way of getting exposure for yourself by doing that. But uh, I advise, yeah, I advise definitely talking with people if that's if you that's like very much what you want to do is to like take that concept directly. Shut it down. I have to cut this down. This is a little much. I have to toy with the coloring a lot after this. Years would be right there. That's his, that's right around his face. Yeah. Okay. Trying to finish with the shaping. Can I privately message you an idea of mine uh, for you to give a feedback on? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, as long as it's a private message, then yeah, it's fine. I can check on it later.
Ooh, that's an interesting mistake. There we go. Makes things a lot more interesting. There you go, gives it more shape now. From here, it doesn't look too bad. There we go, that fixes that. Perfect. Looks a lot smoother. Yeah, the paw the, the legs are gonna require a lot of fine tuning. Thinking in the meantime to leave it blank like that and then color color it at the end, uh, like do the, the inner shading at the end, at the very least, because right now, now I can actually see, I have a better idea of what the, the shape is going to be for the head and stuff. It's because now the head actually is going to be lower too.
The head is big, man. This will require a lot of fine tuning. <laughs> that is so skinny. This is not good. Yeah, the mouth is huge. Way too big. There we go. That's actually much better. Oh, that's good. Like that. Just like that. Kind of need to lower the head now. Because it's a little bit too much. There we go, much better. Oh yes, yes. All right, now I need to fix the head, because that is not complete. Um, yeah, now, now that's good, we got our shape. We got our shape coming. Let's do the tail. I can get rid of the deer now, since I got the, the scale right. What happens if I were to do that? Just to see. Yeah. Oh, yes. Real nice. Real nice. Not a great start. I need to do the head now. The head needs to actually be relatively, like, a little bit larger, at least by two. Because from the side, it looks perfect. But then as soon as you start going like this, you're like, what the shit? Let me do the tail, though. I want to finish that tail. Right of twill. Mm -hmm. 16. Actually, no. Fuck it. 20 by 20 by 20. Hey, save your masses, what's up? Boof. Let's do the top here. The way that tail's gonna curve down.
I could kind of just like give it like that, but no. I want to give that curl at the end. At the very least, do that. I don't know how big that end piece on this butt is, but I guess I'll have to do that. And that. Actually, that's fine. That's good. Part that's going to shorten out, it's going to be smaller, is that. Yep, nope. Oh. There we go. This here is going to be reduced to a width of two. And get the steep end. Just like that. Now we got ourselves the proper tail. Uh, let's do some more editing on there. Needs to look fluffy enough. And right now it does not. Whoops. Doesn't even feel fluffy. Tip. Needs to be cut. Whoops. Stop it. Do that. How's it going to be? Nothing new. Uh, it's going well. It's going well. I'm enjoying this. This uh, this uh, German Shepherd was a little bit tricky at first, but now I got uh, the hang of it. It's starting to look good. It's starting to come along nicely. Top end here needs to get wider. Somewhere around like that. Needs to get wider a little bit. Just a little bit. White there. Not to do that. That's a little bit better. Comes if I fuse it with the body. How does that look? There we go. I can see the mistakes now. up perfect 
And do you get, do you know any good voxel editors for iPad that are free? No, I do not. I don't I don't own an iPad, so I don't really I haven't really tried them. There's one that, there's one voxel editor you can use actually. It's called the uh, Leblux, L E B L O X. And it's like a full a full free form uh, voxel editor. You can either work off of a uh, base or you can uh, do it all by hand. This is not a paid advertisement. That's been bugging me. And the fact that that's so flat is still very annoying. There you go, that's better. It's kinda hidden, so it's fine. Perfect. I didn't even save this yet. Look annihilation. Support dog. Thanks, dude, no problem. I chose for here is much better now. It's a lot lighter, it kind of fits in, it doesn't really pop as much as, which is good, which is very good. As usual, they have their underbelly. It's really awesome that Voxel is growing as a medium nowadays. I recently got into them myself a few months. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I took, like, I've been doing it for three years, and when I started, I only I was only really a hobby, and I was modding video games with Voxels. Uh, and that's, I was like, man, I don't know if this is ever going to get anywhere. And I was, and I was, but I was loving it. I was like, even though I like this, I would like, you know, to maybe one day make a living off of it. And, uh, hey, nowadays, nowadays I do. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad it's being used more often in, in video games. It's really cool. Really cool, and that's all thanks to pro uh, to brilliant programmers who are building systems that work a lot better for voxels. Because technically, we still don't support uh, voxels in tools like Unity uh, and and Unreal. Like it's there's a there's a very very big limit, a very obvious limit to what you can do with voxels in those tools. Okay, that's on this itself. Have you seen Picavoxel? Yes, yes, I've seen Picavoxel. I'm not a big fan of it. I, like, after seeing it, I, would, I didn't really consider myself a big fan of it because it's very restrictive to what you can do with voxels. Like, already the world ter generation world terrain is very, very, very small in terms of its uh, like details and stuff. All right, um, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, progress GIF. If that's okay with you guys. Your settings, something like 500 by 500. That's seem fair. Oh, the center point is not. There we go. That's better.
Hmm? Isn't there... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong desktop? What's the deal? No, there we go, gift from PNG, Doug. The 64 cubed volume limit for imports is somewhat frustrating. Yes, very frustrating. That's extremely frustrating. Like a lot of my models exceed that. So, and especially all the ones that I want to do that are really interesting exceed that. Uh, like the one I'll be doing over the weekend is going to be really big. Like, it re well, really big compared to what I usually do and, and very detailed. So, uh, like it's really worrying that, yes, you're going to have PicaVox, which is a really cool system for Unity, but it's extremely limiting. And that's why, that's why I'm glad I'm working on Critical Annihilation because then I can grab that engine. I have access, I have full access to the engine and that lets me build at whatever resolution I want without a problem. Mm, I feel like I need to make the pause smaller after looking at this and rotated. I definitely need to make the pause smaller. So, like, as you can see, the, the legs are good that they are, they're big and clunky. Then the paws are still the same size, which is an issue. The bottom, this one here is good, but the one in the front isn't. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to shorten you out. Sorry, paws. But it's fine. You work, you work quite well like this. Still much better, but now this is too low. It needs to go up like this. There we go. How's that like? It's one, two, three, uh, one, two. No, no. Nah. Like that. Not mistaken. I oh, know. Like that. Two down. Two down. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, that's definitely a plus. I'm using Pico mostly because I don't have another option without spending a significant amount of time re-implementing my own. However, I can't imagine eventually I will or hire someone to do so or possibly use an already existing engine. I don't know. I feel like down the line, when these engines become a lot more available and a lot more usable, it's going to be hugely beneficial to the, to, like, the world of voxels. Because right now, the problem is, is everyone wants to be the innovator. Everyone wants to be the next guy to kind of show it up. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's the problem. So because it's such a new, it's like it's such a new uh, system, it's such a new uh, like look into making games that everyone wants to be the innovator. Everyone wants to be the next guy in line to make the million bucks, the billions of dollars that Minecraft did. Not to say that like not to say that they can't do it, but I kind of find it I kind of find it ridiculous that that's the that's the problem. Like that's the it's a very obvious issue that we have right now. And because of that, no one wants to like give their engines out or make them a little bit more open source. Mind you, they're, they're very open source. Like, there's a lot of them that are extremely open source. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, this needs to be wider, right along here. It's causing the problem right now. It's making it seem very, very narrow and clunky. See, like from the top there, it kind of doesn't blend right. Do you guys see what I see? So I need to make that work. 
This is good though. The head is a huge problem, so I need to I need to start addressing the head. Hello world, hello scout. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How are you? All right, let's do this. So sure, unfortunately it's a big issue of, of everyone wanting to make Minecraft not uh, make a voxel engine. A lot of the open source engines are voxel textured cubes. Exactly, and that really bugs me. Um, engines and not actually traditional box engines. Yep, very much true. Very much true. You get my you get my pain. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, I'm relaxed. Just making a dog for critical annihilation that I'll be able to use. I'm so excited to get this one done so I can uh, that then use the design to make an alien version of the dog, which is really cool. And really exciting. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot better. The mouth is gonna be. A lot nicer to make too. Now I can do this. See? Ah, oh, yes, yes. So much better. Flip X. Obviously, it's going to require some carving because this is a little bit overdone. But I'm really happy with the mouth now. The ears are important. I need to get that done properly. That's going to be extruding more than anything else. Alright, ear time. Yes, there we go. I per freaking nailed it now. Good, good, good. Have you played Magic the Gathering? Yes, I have. Uh, I'm really shitty at it, but yes, I play Magic the Gathering. Why do you ask? Yeah, probably take less time to just cut, put that over. I knew it. I knew that was gonna be an issue. Well, that's fine. I'll just do this then. I just want to make beautiful voxel games. I like I care very much about the uh, like how people are tre are treating the field like in, uh, in its progression and stuff but i just really want to make a beautiful game now uh, voxel game kind of put it on the same level of like beautiful uh, like beautiful pixel art and be like hey look this is the style this is what voxels can and will be down the line and that's why i'm so eager to to make all these games that's why i'm making i'm so eager to to keep on working at them from a certain angle, it works. Like from this angle, it works. From this angle, it's still a little bit too square, too rounded at the. 
I play it and asking you if you have played it is one of the first things I ask most every new stream. Ha, <laughs> sounds good. Curiously, if I was crazy and decided to work on my own voxel engine now that I have my own plans, but for a uh, user standpoint, and I know you have your own engine, but what kind of world chunk size would, you, would be reasonable for you? Uh, is too large is actually detrimental to performance unless it's only mesh. Uh, give me numbers, give me uh, chunk numbers, and I'll let you know which one I think would work, uh, would be best. Okay, I need to yeah, I need to cut down on the neck. like that. Is uh he seems a little bit too stoky in the front. Thinking maybe maybe do this. Whoops. Maybe go in like this. Instead of having it out like that. Yeah, I think that works. So let's do that. Increase the width. Just to see how that looks. Now the pawn needs to be adjusted though, which is reasonable. I think this looks a lot better for it. Now his head is still now his head is too wide. It needs to be more a lot more narrow. So for example, this the ears need to stick out. So if anything, I'd ha what I'd have to do is go like this. Actually, get rid of most of you. Now I just increase them like that. I think this might work. This might work better. Let me just. Going to another stream. Bye. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Thank you. I think, uh, I don't know, I think 128 cubed is probably reasonable, 256 cubed may be possible as well, but the larger you get, the slower remeshing is. No, I understand that, yeah. So if you want uh, manipulable vox volumes, aka explosions and such, you gotta do somewhat, it'd become somewhat uh, conservative. I think 128 cubed is an excellent chunk size. Right now, vox uh, uses, what is it, I believe, uh, 15? It's very tiny. Very tiny.
Now his ear and stuff doesn't work as well. Yeah, the ear needs to... Now the ear needs to come down. Which works. See, but now... Yeah, see, now I can actually... No, I'll do that. Make some adjustments that actually work to the benefit of the model. See, because now, like, now from this angle, he makes sense. And this one's still not as much, but it's a start. Kind of want it to be perfect. His, yeah, his neck needs to be bushier. Bigger and bushier. I'm going to kind of block you out like that. Yep, that's gonna help a lot. The nose doesn't really make sense. I'll do the eye, which is gonna have a relatively large impact. I do it for the deer import see yeah that's our thought okay so what I'm gonna do is that is exactly that hmm Now it's too wide. I think like this it's good. <sighs> uh, which, uh, which software are you using, bro? Uh, I can't read the name properly. Oh, I'm using Cubicle. Uh, Q U. Yeah. Uh, what, I, what is the software I just saw? Uh, I'll just link you guys to the website, minddesk.com for cubicle.
Mm-hmm. Okay, that works. From the front, it works as well. So what I'm gonna do now is get a lighter tint. I'm gonna start doing the coloring now, so it should be good. Yeah. Perfect. Everything's now down to size, which is good. So to color, using this lighter tint, now I'm going to make a secondary, which is going to be a darker tint. Hey, cool nerd, what's up? Welcome to the stream. And hey, Kiruyan. Welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, I'm just uh, doing some art for uh, Critical Annihilation, a game that's coming out in June on Steam. So, uh, yeah, hope you hope you enjoy the stream. I'll be doing a human dog, and then after this, I'm going to be doing the alien dog. Uh, the human dog is going to be equipped with like full suit and jacket and everything, uh, and like with the, some uh, grenades around him and stuff. So he's he's going to act as a support who's going to kill enemies, and he's also going to act as a as a resupply point, which is going to be pretty interesting. Perfect. Looks like he can run collar, which is good. Awesome art, though, man. Love it. My stuff is pretty novice first. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I'm, I'm I'm far from done. Still, like, there's still a lot of things I want to improve on. So uh, you know, just keep challenging yourself, and you'll be good. As long as you challenge yourself, people who think their art is perfect right away will not do so well down the line. Alright, what I'm going to do is actually take this, do a darker version of it as well. Better have multiple tints of it. People say it's awesome, but I... I don't know. I always think it less than it's, it probably is. No, that's good. That's good. I mean, you're critical with yourself and you want to just improve, which is perfect. I'd say keep thinking that way. It's the right way to go about it. Because then you're just, like, again, then you're going to, it could be, you can always be in that scenario where you think you're, you're at your peak, peak capabilities and you won't do shit from then on. And that's not what you want. Especially as an, if, as an artist, at least, that's not what you want. You don't want, you don't ever want to find your limit, your peak. You always want to improve on it. I don't think I'm gonna do it such a drastic change in tint. I don't think that should be good. Yeah, that's subtle enough. There we go. Much better. Uh, what is it nowadays? Like what I try to do is I take voxel, I take pixel art, and I try to think of like, okay, can I do this in voxels? Can I make this look the same but in voxels? So can you make a pixel art piece 3D? And then from there, I challenge myself to actually do it, which is what I'll be doing this weekend on a piece that I found. I found it was really good, and I'd ra and I'd very much like to uh, take it and uh, give it the voxel art treatment.
as shown in any creative uh, field, including developing itself. It's a good mantra. No, yeah, very much, very much. You don't ever, <laughs> don't ever treat anything you do as perfect. Don't ever do that. It's like the one, it's like the one major advice I can give, no matter how old I'll ever get. Cool nerd, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. I stream every single day, uh, game development and uh, random arts on the side sometimes. Uh, like this weekend, I'll be doing what I call uh, weekly challenges. I'm gonna start challenging myself to do some, uh, some, uh, you know, while challenging voxel art. But uh, yeah, it's very much appreciated, and I hope to see you here a lot more often. Perfect. I think that's good with that. Now to do the secondary coloring now. Shading is always a challenging thing with Voxel because you have to decide uh, between shading yourself and how you want the light source to work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for Critical Annihilation, or in the most part, what I do now is I do shading um, without without any shaders, so purely by hand as if you're doing pixel art. Uh, that way, because when you apply the actual shading with the engine or whatever engine you use, it's always going to look pretty decent. Because like, it's not bad to apply some hand handmade shading. It's It's definitely not bad to do that. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Alright, now we take the other two legs, get rid of them, switch it with these two. Alright, what I'm gonna do is apply you like that. Hey. Probably should have done this before I, uh, Copied it on the other side. That's fine. Can I quickly fix that? Whoops. Yeah, voxel voxel shading took me time to to figure out. I kind of like forced myself to work in a different way so that I can do it, and it works. So now I'm good. All right, now let's split the let's split the pause for uh, animations because this will all, all be animated. So uh, yeah, gotta keep that in mind. You. There we go. go fixed and adjusted we got that I could color his butt and I will color his butt ah, ah. slight detail makes a difference perfect hey piggy player how are you <laughs> we as box artists don't have a Bible like pixel art does I've been creating that Bible. I wanted. To, I've been documenting everything, every single thing I've been doing. There we go. That's good. good as well. So now I have some very subtle uh, coloring, but it works very, very well with it. Is that a truck? Well, it is a truck. It almost crashed into a car. That was, that was interesting. Mm-hmm. And there's a corner right about that. 
done. Okay, perfect. There we go. Everything, all the matrices, uh, all the matrices are adjusted. The four color rule kind of applies. Well, not apl that applies to uh, to pixel art as well. It does. To like, there's things that are transferable. That, it, for example, shading is definitely transferable, especially when you're looking at it from various perspectives. So, like, I'm also looking at it from the side because it's, it's a dog, and that's where you're going to see most of. Um, and now I'm going to be apl now I'm going to be doing a version of the dog that's be it's going to be equipped. Uh, support dog equip. Which is going to be the version now that has all the equipment on them. So uh, let's get that. I'm gonna get the German Shepherd, uh, German Shepherd army. So I've made a few models, but haven't uh, gone into animating them. How long does the usual animation take? Uh, poof, that can range. That can take about. That can range from like 10 minutes to an hour, uh, or, or more. It depends on what kind of animation you want to do and what kind of rig you're building. Uh, for this, for example, this can take a bit because I need to do like um, I need to create the the pivot point bone, which is right out of the pooper, uh, and then that's going to extend into the body. It's going to do a point there, point there, point up, point up, and I'm going to be able to touch that. I'm going to be able to link the, the legs, then create two extra bones for each leg, then create a bone for the tail. And then from there, once that's been rigged, uh, I need to attach it to the I need to attach it to the meshes, which are each of these. And then once that's done, then I can start animating. And then like that rigging set and the rigging segment of uh, segment can take uh, roughly 30 minutes to do uh, if you want it to be perfect after some testing and fine tuning. And then uh, the animating part of it can take about could take about an hour, especially if you want to do a nice fluid dog running, because I like you don't want to do cube world style where everything is just like pop, 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 pop. you don't want that. You want the actual like dog running thing, and that to do clean animations like that takes time. That's why it's a profession. That's why it's a specific position at studios where you're only an animator. So are these matrices, uh, you have sort of like a skeletal system. No, it isn't. Uh, the matrix system is strictly there to separate objects. It's to, it, it, there's no skeletal system built in yet um, into the tool. Uh, what I do is I export this, and the only reason why I'm splitting the way I'm splitting it is based on the animations I'm going to be using. What's going to be animated in what way? I know that I want to make the leg move one way with the foot doing this, so I'll split those two up, and then I'll be able to build the rig from that. Uh, the tail as well. I want the tail to move, so I'll split that up. It's all about what you want to split, because I can just as easily just connect all the legs and only have it uh, so that the leg moves as a stiff piece, but that'll look very ugly. See, I can even split further. I can I can go further and split the neck here from the body. That way, I can do like a nice neck movement on the dog running, which I think I will. Cause why the hell not? Save and then save you as support dog as well. Which one is this? Um, open. Can I get your opinion on Cuticle 2, uh, 2? I bought the home edition and I like it, um, but there are clearly a lot of features missing still. Should I downgrade to QC1? As If you have to pay to downgrade to QC1, I don't rec really recommend it. He's about to do some uh, some implementations on uh, 2.0 uh, soon. I use QC1 because I've been using it for years, but if it's your first uh, if it's your first time using the tool, just stick with 2.0. It's better to get comfortable with what you have. I also want him to change the... Uh, I also want him to change the system uh, regarding uh, the UI. I really want to change the UI because the fact that you need to go to a separate window, actually I'll show you. The fact you need to switch to a separate window for this. So for example, if I take this model that I made and it's like, I want to start editing. And it's like, oh, okay, well let's use separate specific tools. I don't like the fact that I need to go to, a, to an access bar that covers the screen. That's really shitty. I'd rather have him let me tab it all all along here. Like I have the space. There's empty space. I, I like make me make use of it, please. Let me see actually if I could. Can I? No. You see, I can't even. I can't even do that. And I can't even edit this at all. Uh, so that's that's like one thing I would really want to do. So let's if I go and edit. Can I do preferences and tools. Tool wheel. No. 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 Camera lighting. No. Quick asset access bar. See, the access bar already has things, which it's all of this, but I want more. I want all of this down here. And I'm, I'm gonna tell him specifically, can you do that please? Cause then I'll jump to 2.0 again. 
So yeah, those are those are things that I like to I like to fix. What game is this for? This is for Critical Annihilation, which is coming out in June. Uh, you might have seen Microplier play it before, so it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet game. Depth of 30. Yeah, yeah I don't have to tell you what the depth, just the width and height. Alright, uh, let's do this. That, and then that for the band. Oh shit, I might actually have to combine all of this. And then, and then split it. There you go, so let's do that. Actually, no, screw it. I'll keep you separate. I'm gonna work on this part here, which is going to be the main brace section. It's funny, whenever I talk about 2.0, um, I kind of feel like, man, I should I should be using it. Like, I definitely should be using it, but I just don't. And I feel bad for Tim because, like, I'd give a shit ton of input on, uh, on how to improve it, things to optimize, and so on and so forth. That's a start. From there, I think I'd wanna. Okay, I, should, I can only go out by one. Or is it from there? Okay, that's fine actually. It's not so bad. Just start. So that one's fusing with it. This one I can do. Good, good. Now I can do that. Just kind of like blend in again. I need to darken the color because it's really not that obvious. There we go, it's better. Expand that. Da, 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 da. Just a height and a depth. Rage succession, sketch ban. Sketch bin. Sketch bin? Sketch bin. What do you mean? I, I'm not gonna raid anybody. I have no reason to raid anybody. I'm not done my stream, so I'm not gonna raid. I'm confused. What? <laughs> But hello, bas uh, basic, bas uh, yeah, basic Aztec. How are ya? Welcome to the stream. All right, next point. It's gonna be around the neck here, so I definitely need to go all the way up to here. everything works yeah do that perfect actually no not, not there I kind of get rid of that there we go that's already around a leg which is fine kind of want to start doing it here now I need to readjust. And once I figure it out on this one side, I'll just duplicate it on the other. I need to go like that.
Nice. Much better. Do that. Clip on X. Good to go. Uh, get rid of you. Take you. That should be good. Wait, but now why is it clipping? How much uh, time does um, the trial last? I believe thirty days. I believe I'd, I've never used it before, so I don't. I wouldn't know. Sorry, but I believe it's thirty days. I'm going to just go like that. Wait, what? Two, three. Oh, okay. That's from here to there. Okay. Here we go. That's one. Next one is you. Is music done? Okay, sweet. I'll turn on this music then. That's good. Used what? What? <laughs> Leaving short questions like that is a little bit tricky with me since I'm... green I could make it green and I think that that might be the wiser choice to go along with the army arminess of it all you guys prefer to black I prefer to black honestly I'm gonna attach like some little grenades and stuff around him, so let's do that. Uh, let's make some tiny grenades. Uh, width of three. Height, nope. Height of three. Depth of four. Perfect. Perfect. Actually, not perfect. Um. Three, three, four. Three, four. What? I, didn't I make a cube? I didn't. Three, four, three. There we go, Jesus. Took long enough. Best way to go about it. What if she gave him a muzzle? Uh, it's kind of useless because they kind of have to bite the enemy. <laughs> just saying. Giving them a muzzle would pretty much make them useless aside from just running around and pointing things out for you.
on you too. Do that. <laughs> You're not dumb. It just didn't cross your mind. Makes sense. Don't worry. Perfect. Perfect. To start. Uh, what else should I equip uh, with? Oh, a dagger. Let's just see how this renders. Uh, just so I can make sure everything looks fine. Under return of the last. Wait for it. There we go. And let's check it out. Uh, what am I looking for here? There we go, give him PNG. No, yeah, that's looking good. Hmm. Small mistake. Small mistake. Right there. There you go, that's better. Next thing, let's just check it. So the grenades are there. Uh, do they have anything else on them? I don't know. I've never seen an attack dog for the army. I'm checking images and they're not really all that clear either. Some of them have like uh, padding all the way up to their butt too. Some of them also have little little gloves around their paws. Which would be interesting. Let me try that out. Actually, that's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. Uh, what I'll do is take that silver lining, though. I'll just do that. You know, a dog needs reflectors. Perfect. And I think that's about it. Give him a little headset. Oh, we can give him a little headset. That would be so cute. So random. All right, let's give him a little headset. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Better take a break from Grand Theft Auto as I came here. Cool, cool. How are you? Welcome, welcome. How's Grand Theft Auto treating you right now? Breaker, breaker. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let's give him uh, not a silver bit, a bit darker than that. For that. 
And I think that should be it. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. What's this? Disco dog. We should do this. We should do this. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, Enigma, how upset are you? You can't mod MP on GTA 5. I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm not disappointed about that. I'm glad that you can't mod multiplayer. You know how annoying that would be? Alright. What can I do about the eyes? I'm just thinking. Maybe I should do some white? No. Oh, Christ's sake. How does that happen? Alright. Good. I'll do some little uh, fading around the eyes. A little darkened fade. And give him that old age feel to him. even on both both uh, sides of the mouth. There we go. That looks a little weird, actually. Let's do that. Perfect. I think we're done with the dog. I'm currently modeling for Critical Annihilation. Uh, now that I have this done, I'll be making the alien dog. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to import the regular dog. What about you, why do crazy, but I do find voxel modeling and watching others do it very relaxing. Good, good, I'm glad. Yeah, modeling itself, like doing the voxel modeling itself is super relaxing. I enjoy it a lot. As long as people don't persist with me, then uh, I'm good. All right, so let's make this. Make, let's make ourselves the alien dog. There we
Have you learned C++ Y to be? Yeah, actually, that's, that's one, probably one of the only um, programming languages I know well enough to do something with. Uh, I learned it in, uni uh, in university. I mean, where's the turnable point? I need to restart this. Hold up. Yeah, it's probably one of the only languages I learned in. Uh, it's the only language I learned in university. Oh, but I. All the other languages I learned uh, myself. Well, mind you, C++ only did one course, so it's more or less. Uh, I started there, but I didn't continue because that was not my field uh, let's see support dog okay it's putting pressure on my head which is painful so I'm gonna do that Are you familiar with Full Sail University in Florida? No, I am not. Sorry. Uh, I'm in Canada, so I don't know anything. I only know about the Ivy League uh, universities, which I don't know if that one is. That seems like a state university. Uh, so I guess I can do part by part. Alien bag. There, that's my inspiration. First things first, no ears. Kind of want to get rid of that. Want to drop the head. Kind of bring it forward a little bit, like that. I can kind of do it like this. Make the tail smaller. That's perfect. Alright. To college specifically for a certain skill, art, game design, etc. Just wondering your opinion on whether they are worth the money. I wouldn't have an idea. Sorry. But that's that's a thing. Uh, universities that specify on um, that specify to what do you call it? Sorry, that have specifications like that that are like, oh, we're a game design university and stuff. It's I recommend to look a little bit more deep into it. People who graduated from it, how they did, how they did, look really into the program itself and see how that turned out. Uh, like, what if the program is any good? What are the courses that they provide and stuff? Because you can, if you want to do programming in video games, you can just take a, like a, a programming uh, degree at any university and you'll be fine. There's no, there's no need to to do it at a specific school or for design game design. That's kind of on your own. You you can't you can learn game design from 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 universities, yeah, but it's not you're not gonna get you're not gonna really benefit from much because then you're gonna what you're gonna graduate with a degree in game design that's extremely specific uh, to the point where it's just like okay, but game design means nothing. Like having a degree in game design means nothing if you have no games to show for it. What matters more is that you made games that are actually play well that feel well before you have a degree in game design. And even then, you need to be good at at least something, uh, whether it be art or programming, so that, it, that you can kind of back up your claim being like, not only am I good at design, but I can make games to, uh, like, I can do parts of games, and they're like, oh, okay, cool. So yeah, just, uh, just a, a thing for you. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't want you to waste your money. Don't don't waste your money on schools that advertise that they can that they can get you the degree that you want for your one specific thing. Mm, that does not apply. Thanks a lot for the help. I'm gonna head out for now. I'll definitely look into it uh, more. Sounds good. Well then, have a good night. Alright, let's go with a... 
It was like a greenish. Greenish tint like that. For this part here. Kinda freaky. Kinda freaky. And let's do like a, that part there. Go for a Uh, beige feel here. Colors aren't too great right now, that's for sure. Ugh. Yeah, these are not nice colors. Oh no, nope. need to need to readjust this. Call it, I'm gonna call it a night for now. I'm gonna work on this more tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming again then. And uh, yeah, we'll finish the alien dog. I'm gonna do some, a bit more research so I can get it. I know what I wanna do, what I wanna do with the shoulders, but I need to figure out the right coloring and the stuff for the for that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the stream.